bags. We have uh, pencil leads for your mechanical pencils. We have more bits of string because why wouldn't you? Um, ah, calculator. The cats are wreaking havoc. They are determined to have my attention. They shall have none of it. Uh, calculator, terribly useful if one is uh, trying to figure out just how far away a particular unit is from another. Sometimes making conversions between an old English measuring system in New England, for example, uh, and metric. Um, and sometimes trying to figure out how many hours you worked on the site to fill in the timesheet. So, or lunch money and how's, how you're gonna um, divvy up the lunch bill if you're lucky enough to go out for a meal. Ah, plum bob. Um, it's basically a big weight with a fine point on it that's used to keep uh, a string very straight so you can measure down the side of it um, from a specific point. And the obsession with mapping and uh, recording everything uh, on a formal grid is part of it and then finding its vertical location on the site as well. So these get a lot of use. Um, they hurt a lot if you're wearing uh, sandals. So that's why I never wore sandals. I was wearing my boots. Never wore shorts. You always see archaeologists wearing shorts. I'm like, no, because you need to wear long trousers so that you have protection against the poison ivy and the bugs and the everything. So no shorts, no sandals. It looks cute. It is not effective. But uh, plum bulbs are just one of the many ways that you can help determine how far below ground level or a, a fixed mark is when you're doing the mapping. Okay. Um, carabiners and straps for keeping things. Uh, carabiners can be useful. I mostly just get them because I like them and I don't really end up using them, but it's always good to have something that you can kind of uh, innovate with. If you, if you need to make something on the fly to deal with a particularly difficult uh, set up of a camera, for example, or if you need to have string up a tarp so that you're protecting the site and you need some things that are adjustable, you want to be ready to innovate. You need to be a little bit of the uh, MacGyver with the stuff in your box. I mean, the stuff you figure out to do with trowels, for example, you can use them to garden, you can use them to set bricks, you can use them for archaeology. But as an archaeologist, you can also use them for flicking dog poop away when necessary and cutting birthday cake. Uh, Certainly not on the same day. I certainly never did that ever. Um, not without carefully wiping my trowel off on my uh, trousers for but you know, bits of things to just in case is a lot of it. More pens, more pencils. More pencils. Ah, again, I was talking about the medical kit. I have uh, insect bite, insect repellent. You work in Maine, you deal with mosquitoes. And if you're from out of state, um, they find it particularly delicious. So I was always the best indicator that someone was going to be perfectly safe working with uh, near me because I'd be the, the banquet, the buffet for the local mosquitoes and everyone else would be fairly uh, safe. So yay me. Um, uh, ah, sharpening stone. This probably should be a file in here too, just for sharpening tools or nails or stakes for putting in um, demarcation lines. But I always had a, a, a whetstone for, because I always carried a Swiss Army knife. Um, just because there's a lot of little tools, you can, you can do a lot with one of those things. I have used mine to uh, set up fences, to uh, saw branches that were, uh, you know, dead wood that was in the way of a surveying uh, uh, exercise. Uh, they have little scissors, they have the tweezers, which can also be very ha handy. So I always had one of these for us. To, uh, to use ah, film canister. I mentioned film canisters before. Um, this was back when everyone was really using 35 millimeter film. And the great thing was that you could go to a photo um, developing place and they'd give you trash bags full. And we'd go through a trash bag in like two seasons. So they were glad to get rid of them. We were glad to have it because it's stable. Um, you can mark the top fairly easily. You can put tape on the side to keep the context and uh, there's enough room for you know little valuable artifacts. So when you see one of these things, like oh, something small is in there, something fragile is in there, something of interest is in there. More more plumb blocks. This one is is more more can still be plumb, but it's not particularly. Um, but this one has 
has seen a lot of use, this poor guy. Uh, um, there are also archaeologists who pretend to be ninjas and you know whirlies over their heads and try to get targets, but I don't I don't advise that because if uh, you slip and you hit yourself in the head, that's uh, 10 ounces of solid something right in the back of your brain pan. Ah, matches and clips, matches for all sorts of things, but um, mostly for help keeping the string from fraying. Um, clips because you never know when you're gonna have to clip something. You can use them as uh, clothespins as well as securing papers or whatever else, very handy. <laughs>